many sprites has he got down here? That's crazy. So, in this final video, I want to solve one um, nagging problem. Uh, that's not my wife, by the way. Um, it's the fact that, well, what happens if you clear it twice? And actually, it's so straightforward, I'm just going to do it rather than setting it as a task. Uh, but then I'm going to identify um, a few things that you could go and do um, on your own to make your game better. And if you got this far, quite frankly, you're quite capable of uh, doing some more all on your own. With, I'll give you some ideas, you can maybe have some others, it doesn't matter. But let's solve this one problem here. I need to use this one, it's called the modulo function. And you're thinking, I have no idea what that means. And the answer is, yes you do. It's known basically, I don't know what it's called, remainder. You see, the thing is this, if score modulo 110 is equal to zero, what that is basically saying is, take whatever score is, divide it by 110, and calculate the remainder. So if my score is 110, the remainder is 0. 110 divided by 110 is exactly 1. If my score was 150 modulo 110, my remainder would be 40. 150 divided by 110 is 1 lot of 110 and 40 left over. If my score was 220 modulo 110, the answer is it divides into 2 exactly, and the left over, the remainder is 0. If it's 330, 0. So in fact, actually, all you have to do in this one is... If score mod 110 is equal to 0, then reset the level. So that's all we have to do. We now have a game that would work infinitely. It would just carry on and on and on forever. But I want to give you some ideas of um, things you could now do to improve your game. Number one, there is in fact uh, one block, set of blocks we've not used. And to be honest with you, you might have learned this one in primary school. Sound. You can do pop, there's all sorts of little sounds that you can make. Well, we don't have any sounds in our game. Not much of a game, is it? If it's just video, it should be audio as well. I mean, you can have sounds of the ball and the battle. If touch, you know, for example, on the ball, you've got one for, where has it gone? If touching paddle, pointing, and of course, play a sound. You find that on the green bricks, you've got, um, if touching the ball, play a sound on the green brick. So you can have sounds um, for the ball striking the paddle or the edge, um, if on edge. Well, actually, you can do. You can do. You can work that way. It's possible to if on edge. Um, play a sound can do that. So some other suggestions. Maybe you could have a ball speed that varies. For example, I've set my ball speed to move 10 steps. Well, maybe you could work it out so that the ball starts at, I don't know, at move ball speed steps because you make a variable called ball speed. And if it hits a green block, the ball speed goes to, say, 4. And if it hits a yellow block, it goes to 5. And if it's an orange block, the ball speed becomes 9. And if it's a red block, 15 to make it crazy hard. So the ball would change speed depending on and which block it strikes. That's a possibility. Maybe you could have some special blocks. Maybe you have a, a purple block that you put somewhere up there. And if it hits the purple block, maybe it triggers a multi-ball. Um, or maybe it would be a bad block. So instead of triggering a multi-ball, it would make the back go smaller. Or maybe the back go bigger. Up to you. Maybe you can change the brick patterns. At the end of the day, I have one brick pattern at the moment, which is this for define green brick. But I could have another type of brick pattern. And maybe I could have to define green brick too. And maybe when you set up a, a, a level, I don't know, it randomly chooses one of the brick patterns. So they wouldn't always start like that. Maybe um, it would start differently. But if you do that, you need to, oh gosh, you still need to make sure you've got the same number of bricks. It has to be 11 green bricks. Otherwise your modulo is not going to work. Maybe actually that's not a great idea. But... It, you know, it, it's up to you. There, are, this is the point where you know, put your own spin on it. Um, an interesting thing that you could do is this. 
Okay, so the interesting thing you can do, of course, is that uh, you can go to Scratch and on Scratch, and if you want to sign in or join, or to, I don't know how you're doing things, it's totally up to you. But one thing we can do is that we can search Scratch for other people's versions of Breakout. So what you might want to do is, and some of these are rubbish, by the way. So look at that one. Look at that. Look. He's got the same idea. But look, all his bricks are different things. But if you click on it, let's just look at a rubbish one for a moment, because this will, this will prove a point about how much better yours is. You can look inside people's projects. You can probably work out. Look at that. He's got different. How many sprites has he got down here? That's crazy. He did each block as a different thing. Uh, that's crazy, never mind. But you could play his game and uh, maybe. Um, uh, oh no, that's terrible, isn't it? <laughs> I wonder what's. I wonder if we're going to. Anyway, the whole point is you can play people's games and uh, you might take inspiration for something they've done in their game. I don't think we'll take much inspiration from this one. Oh, he's got noise. Oh, it's driving me bananas, that one. But the whole point being, oh, we're still doing it. Oh, goodness me, stop. Stop. Um, there's all sorts. There's some real, real classy ones in here, like this one. Um, it's coded completely differently to yours. Um, and that's fine. But you're thinking, wow, what's going on here? Look, he's, that's an no idea. He's put a little intro sequence with a fade in there. Wow. And his bricks don't disappear. Oh my god. Oh my god. What is going on? That's a terrible. Flashing one. Wow. But you might, and look at that. That's clever, it's using something called overlays. But he's got his scores and stuff down the bottom. Um, but you might just play a few and you might go, oh, that's a really good idea. I will, I'll stop that now. I will incorporate that particular idea in his breakout game, or hers, of course, it's a bit sexist on my part, uh, into my own. So yeah, just head to Scratch um, and search for breakout and play a few of them and then decide what you're gonna do. Oh, this one's got a death zone, but grim. That's just because he, he put that down there as a hidden thing. We did, if it's less than minus 160, then you another one, death zone intro. I don't know, maybe there's something else. Oh, I don't want to play it anymore. A death zone. Oof, I'm not sure that's appropriate. Anyway, lots of different ideas for you to think about. Um, so that's it from me from this game, Bill. I hope you've enjoyed it. And, uh, you know, keep on building wonderful games. And don't email them to me. Come on, look at them. I might do.